Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, I'm going to actually teach you how to make a thumbnail through Procreate. This is what I do. I recommend this for people that are first starting out with YouTube and don't have a laptop, stuff like that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Procreate. And to get a perfect size thumbnail, you're going to go over and hit this little box right here. That little plus sign. And then it's going to take you to screen sizes. You can actually add your own screen size right here. And then you're gonna type in 1280 right here, PX. And at the bottom, you're gonna type in 720. Press create. And it's gonna give you a perfect size. That's the perfect size for a thumbnail for YouTube. So uh, for this video, I'm actually gonna make the thumbnail I'm gonna use for this video. So what I did, is I went over to Procreate, or I mean uh, Pinterest, and I found uh, like a couple backgrounds I like, like this silky smooth background, and I just did it like this, and I downloaded the image, uh, and then I'm gonna go over to back to Procreate. I'm going to click this little tool icon up here. I'm gonna put insert a photo, and we're gonna do this like this, and that's gonna bring that up. So we're just gonna scale it to size, just like that. And I think that's gonna look all right. So this is gonna be our main background for this thumbnail. So we're gonna click this little button right here. Boom, that one's good to go. Give me one moment. Right, from there, I just airdropped a picture in from my iPhone to my iPad. So we're gonna go back here. And we're gonna go back to Procreate. I'm gonna select, not gallery, I'm gonna select that icon again. I'm gonna insert another photo. I'm gonna insert this photo and it's gonna layer over it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it around to see how big I want it and the place I want it. So it's probably gonna be right around there. We're gonna click this button right here. Now we're gonna go over here, click this little button and you see where it says N right there? You're gonna move that max down halfway to kind of see the background. So we're gonna see that. So now you can move your image around to see where you want it. And I think we're gonna go, I think we actually are gonna go over here, just like that. So we can always turn that back up, but for right now, we're gonna start erasing. Get everything out of the way. I do this for all my thumbnails. This is how I make thumbnails on YouTube. Get all of that. Just use a bigger brush for the stuff and make sure you lift your uh, pen up or your Apple pencil up while you're doing it because if you don't and you get too close to something, just like this, you can always press double tap, double tap and it will go back. Three fingers will uh, change it back to what you want. So I'm gonna do that and I'm going to use this and get all up close real quick here next to everything. And then we'll continue with the next step. Right, now that I got everything erased for the most part, I've noticed a lot uh, in YouTube videos, if you wanna put a border around yourself, it kind of brings it out a little bit more. So we're actually gonna click the uh, this little brush icon right here. I like to use the technical pen and you go over here and these are different sizes. So this is a little uh, little trick and tip too. Um, you see these little lines right here? I actually added these. So if I go over one, you can only have four. I'll click that one, I'll take it off. And if you like a right size right here, let's say 15, hold it right there. You can press plus and now it's stuck there and it'll always be stuck there. Oops, sorry. And when you go over, your lines like that, it'll be that thickness always. But for this background, I wanna do a white border around myself. So we're gonna go over here to the color wheel, click on white, and, doop. and then I am going to use probably this size right here, which is a nine with the technical pen. And I'm just gonna go around myself all the way around. 
and I'll do that and I'll show you the finished product of that. All right, I went around the whole thing with a white border and you gotta remember, we are using layers still. So this is on this layer. So my whole layer of myself is right here. And if I want, I can click on this background layer, just like that, brush another brush. I would like to, I'll use a medium sized brush like this. I'll turn that up. You can pick a different color. Let's go for purple, right? And over down here is gonna be how strong it is. I like to leave it like that. And if I want, I can go around it like that in the background, just to kind of give it a little pop. And if you lift your brush up, do it again, it will do it darker in that area. We're working with layers, but see the screen here is dirty. I want to put a procreate screen in here. So I already have one lined up. So I'm going to do this, go back to this layer. Going to click on gallery. Nope, not gallery this button right here I'm going to insert another photo and I already had a Pinterest or a procreate logo like that so we're gonna line that up for size yeah something like that go over here we're gonna click this button, that little end button right there and we're gonna turn it down so we can actually see where it is on the iPad so, we'll do that. We're going to zoom in here. Click this button again. And kind of just level that up into the iPad. For a good fit. Just like that. And let's turn it up and see what happens. So, we're going to hit this button again. Hit that little end button. Turn the aux up. Bam! It's looking all right. It looks all right to me. Cool. We're going to keep that in there like that. I also had a little YouTube button I want to put in here. And so we're going to do that. Insert another photo. YouTube right here. And we're just going to move that over here and go right around here. And click that. Doop, 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 doop like that and then we're going to erase that and then I'm going to show you how to put text on here there's actually a, a, a site that I use called um, I think it's called the font or font space and I'm going to go over that as well and if you can please if this, you're enjoying this video leave a like and uh, if you want to subscribe you can I usually do manga and anime related content but I figured this one might help with a lot of people especially for people that are just starting out um, even if you don't want to subscribe, if you could leave a like just to help me with the algorithm, that would help as well. And yeah, thank you. So I'm going to go over this. I'm going to erase this and then I'm going to show you how to do the text. Right, part. So now our thumbnail is looking pretty good here. So I want to add some text here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to turn this up. Boop. And then I'm going to click on my thing right here. This is how I get, I get all my tags from Toon Pocket. That's what I'm going to, you know, use since I'm a small YouTuber, I need to learn how to do my own tags and stuff like that but we're gonna hit right here and I actually go to yep it is called font space so I'm gonna type in thumbnail thumbnail like that and right here you can pick any uh, like you could search up any style font you want so I'm gonna do bold no actually I'm gonna do outline outline and search for that and now it's going to show me a bunch of different things that say thumbnail and i'm just going to go over the one i want uh dude this tar part usually takes a, a little bit of time you just want to see one that catches somebody's eye something you can fill in with white usually that i do and something bold, something, something that's just going to look nice to make the thumbnail look good. So I think I found the one I want. So I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to save it to photos. I'm going to go back to Procreate. Go sideways. We are going to hold it up. Click the little button again. We're going to insert a photo. Take that. 
And we are gonna move this with our two fingers and we're gonna put it right there. And now, since this is all layered, this is on its own layer, we're gonna click that and I believe I wanna fill these in with white. So all you have to do is drag and drop into the words. Just like that. And we're about to see the finished product of the thumbnail. <laughs> right now. And I think that thumbnail looks pretty good. So that's a good thumbnail. That's gonna be the thumbnail for this video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, that's gonna be saved. I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna go to that tune space, I think it's called. Tune Pocket. So now I'm gonna think of the title for the YouTube video. I think it's gonna be like, um, how to make thumbnails on Procreate or something like that. And then I am going to airdrop it to my iPhone and then I'm going to use iMovie Maker to edit it. There's really not going to be a whole lot of editing in this video, but I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe put a little soundtrack under it, and the video is done. And that's pretty much how you do a good thumbnail on Procreate. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, uh, drop a like. Um, if you want to subscribe, like I said earlier, I do mostly manga and anime and art and tattoo related content. So be wary of that. Uh, but a like would do just fine. Uh, thank you guys very much, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, taters.